Okay, so something huge just happened with ChatGBT. And I mean, this isn't just some minor update. It's a total game changer, completely rewriting the rules of what this AI can do for you. Let's get right into it. You know, right now, most of us use ChatGPT for stuff like um, getting information, brainstorming ideas, maybe summarizing a long article. But what if it could do more? Like, way more. What if it could actually start doing your work for you? And that right there is the big reveal. We're talking about a shift from talking to doing. ChatGPT can now plug directly into your other apps to actually get stuff done. It's not just a chatbot anymore. It's an action taker. So what exactly is this new superpower? Well, to put it simply, ChatGPT can finally, and I mean finally, connect and talk to all those apps you use every single day. The magic behind this is a new feature they're calling connectors. And what that means is, we're done with all those clumsy, complicated workarounds. This is like a direct, secure pipeline into your digital world. It lets ChatGPT see your emails, check your calendar, read your documents, and you can do it all from one single chat window. It's incredible. Look, this is a huge shift in thinking. It's no longer just a smart chatbot that gives you answers. It's evolving right before our eyes into a true personal assistant, something that can actually help you manage your tasks and, you know, get your life organized. And you know what the best part is? Getting this all set up is surprisingly easy. Seriously, you can unlock all this power with just a couple of clicks. It's literally a simple three-step process. All you do is head over to your settings, click on the new connectors section, and then just slip the switch for the apps you want to connect. That's it. It's that simple. And check out the list of apps you can connect right out of the gate. We're talking about the big ones, the heavy hitters you probably use every day. Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Drive, even Notion, HubSpot, and GitHub for the developers out there. Connecting these is where the real automation magic starts to happen. All right, that's the theory. But how does this work in the real world? Like, what can you actually do with this stuff? Let's dive into some really powerful use cases for, well, taming that digital chaos in your life. Okay, picture this. You start your morning, and instead of dreading that overflowing inbox, you just type a simple prompt, something like, hey, check my Gmail. Have any of these key people emailed me? If they have and I haven't replied, just give me a quick summary of what they need. No more digging through emails one by one. I mean, just think about the difference there. The old way, manually checking email after email, trying to remember who you need to get back to, it's a total time sink. The new way, one prompt, and boom, you get an instant summary. It even finds who needs a reply and can draft it for you. That's not just a time saver, it's a sanity saver. Okay, so that's email, which is awesome. But what about bigger stuff? You know those massive, dense documents that land in your Google Drive, the ones you know you should read but never have the time for? Let's use a real example here. Say you've got this super long, detailed document. Normally, to get anything useful out of it, you'd have to sit down, read the entire thing, take notes, you know the drill. But now, you can literally just tell ChatGPT, hey, read this for me and give me an action plan. And just like that, it digests that whole wall of text and spits out the key actionable steps. It turns complexity into a simple to-do list you can actually start working on. So we've seen how this can help with your personal productivity, which is already huge, but it gets even crazier when you start applying this to specific business roles, like say for developers or for people in sales. And this is where the versatility really shines. If you're a developer, you can have it check a pull request in GitHub for errors. If you're on the sales team, you can ask it to scan HubSpot and find all the hot leads you haven't followed up with this week. It's seriously like having a hyper-specialized assistant on call for every single team. Okay, connecting to one app at a time is powerful stuff, no doubt about it. But the real magic, the next level stuff, happens when you start chaining these connectors together and then put them on a schedule. Just think about this for a second. You could tell ChatGPT, first, go in HubSpot and find my best leads. Then, for each of those leads, draft a personalized follow-up email in Gmail using their info. See what's happening here? You're building an automated workflow that connects different apps. This is the kind of thing that can save you hours every week. 
and it gets even better. There is a new schedules feature that basically lets you set it and forget it. You create a task, like check for urgent emails from sponsors. You connect it to Gmail, and then you tell it, do this for me every single day at 9 a.m., and it just does. This right here is the biggest shift of all. Your AI is no longer just waiting around for you to give it a command. It's becoming a proactive, autonomous agent that's constantly working for you in the background. The potential here is just mind-blowing. I want you to think about a number. 300 million. Just let that number hang in the air for a second. It's a massive number, and it puts everything we've just talked about into a much, much bigger perspective. Because that is the number of jobs that Goldman Sachs predicts could be impacted by artificial intelligence. This stuff we're seeing, it's not just a cool new feature or fun toy. It represents a deep, fundamental change in how work itself gets done. So this isn't some far-off science fiction future. The power to automate your own work is literally here today. It's a new superpower that's just been handed to us. So really, the only question left is, what are you going to do with it?